was a little girl since he was a little boy. Well, I was driving the tractor for my dad when I was 10 because he was crippled with arthritis. You know, we'd go to the field and he'd stand on the hitch in the back of the seat and ride around with me, make sure I was doing it right, and then he'd leave me. Today, if anybody stood on the hitch of a tractor and wanted to ride, I'd probably have a heart attack. Scare the daylights out of me. Fourteen hundred acres they farm, not today. Oh. It's not all ours, but probably over half of it is. Just seemed like the thing to do at the time. I mean, you had to work. Mm -hmm. You weren't allowed to just sit around. You helped after school. There was always something to do. Well, his son works here now. Kevin comes every night after work. He works at the John Deere. At yeah. the John Deere dealer, and he comes. Yeah. And he'd like to work here full time someday. Um. I, my daughter's out there talking with Grandma now that she's got a full time job, but she she still likes to milk cows. And Jake, he's only 11, and yeah. so he doesn't really know. He grows some vegetables and he's got a little stand he sells out in front of the house. Corn, tomatoes, peppers, cantaloupe. pickles, cantaloupe, yeah. and watermelon. <laughs> Watermelon, yeah, melon, and cucumbers. It goes to a local elevator, which markets it further on. Mm -hmm. so your corn goes, most of it goes through an ethanol plant now to make uh, your ethanol and then we feed the byproduct back to the cows again. Your soybeans go to be crushed, the oil extracted, and then yes, we feed the soybean meal back to the cows. Uh, it's sold to a co-op, mm -hmm. which markets the milk for us. Mm -hmm. So it's picked up. A truck comes every day and picks up milk, uh, adds it to other farmers' milk, and it's delivered to, oh, most of it goes to either into Indiana or goes into Cleveland, Ohio. The boys wanted to keep on farming. They didn't want houses built on it. Mm -hmm. They wanted to farm. 